Good morning, friends, and happy October. Today, October the 1st, is the Feast of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. This is an image of her over my shoulder. You've probably seen it in many churches, many schools. She's a very, very popular saint. Therese died when she was only 24 from tuberculosis uh, in the late 1800s. Um, she had lived most of her life uh, in that region. Her sisters had entered the Carmelite convent before her, and, and then she followed them there. Uh, Therese is known for her little way, small things with great love. But that was not how she originally lived. As a child, having lost her mom to cancer when she was young, she was very spoiled. She was also very anxious. Uh, some would say almost uh, compulsively so. But she was freed from that by the grace of God. And at the age of 14, she had a rather mystical experience uh, where she said she gave herself over to the passion of Christ. She united herself more closely with our crucified Lord. And in that moment, again, 14 years old, she said to God that she would strive for the rest of her life to never be selfish. A 14-year-old, a 14-year-old girl from a rather well-off family, a 14-year-old who was also the youngest child in the family. She was prone to be selfish and self-centered and self-absorbed, and yet through the grace of God makes this vow to not be selfish, to think of others more than herself in imitation of our crucified Lord. Friends, let's make that choice today. There are so many little ways that selfishness gets in the way when we're driving, in a store, in conversations, as we're talking about our political or religious views. We focus on ourself and advancing ourself and trying to get our way. At least that's what I do. And I think many of you struggle with it as well. Look upon the cross of Christ. Know that it's here that we, we find joy. Therese is so often pictured with, uh, in, in pictures and in artwork, you know, holding uh, flowers, you know, Therese the little flower. She saw herself as a little flower in the garden of God, but also the crucifix, because it was through her meditations on Christ crucified that she really grew in holiness. And the same will happen for us. Hold a crucifix in your hands today. Look at what he did for you so selflessly and pray for the grace to overcome any selfishness in you. May God bless you and keep you and shine his light upon you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And for those of you in the Philadelphia area, we do begin COVID testing at St. Raymond's today through Thomas Jefferson, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Thursdays, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays. No appointment needed. Come by, let's wipe this virus out. God be praised and God bless you today.